everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my favorite vampy lips. Vampy lips are a huge trend for fall and winter and it's a trend that I am quite fond of. I used to be afraid of wearing darker colors but I think it actually looks very cool if they are worn in the right context. So I've been trying to find what my favorite shades are and I have a top 10 to show to you guys. These are going to be just really vampy lips, dark lips, um, mostly I have here some purples and some browns to show you. I am also going to do a video on my favorite red lips for fall and winter. I'm also going to be doing a video on nude lips, so you can wait for that. This is kind of a, a series of my favorite lipsticks for fall and winter, and we are going to start with the vampy lips. So let's start with the one that I'm wearing right now. This is Stone by MAC. MAC is one of my favorite brands for lipsticks, mainly because they have such a wide range of colors. You can choose from their colors, their finishes. Um, they have a perfect shade for everyone and a perfect formulation for everyone. They have such a huge range. And that is one of the main reasons why I always search for MAC. And also I find that they are good. They are comfortable on the lips. They are not too expensive. I think they are mid-range. So Stone is one of my favorite vampy lipsticks because I think it, it is such an interesting shade. It is a brownish grayish kind of shade. When I first got it, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to really pull it off because it has so much gray in it. But the truth is, if you are wearing the right makeup look, everything will look perfect and connected. And I think to wear stone and to make it work, you have to have really perfected skin and also really defined eyes. And if you do, this will look great. And I think it's a shade that looks pretty cool. So next in line, I have one of the lipsticks that I feel are like one of the most wearable of them all. And I am talking about Chanel Rouge Noir. It is a rouge all over velvet and it comes on this amazing packaging. Quite a dark shade on the tube, but when you put it on and you apply your first layer, it's not going to look fully opaque, which is why I think it is one of the most wearable lipsticks. And if you want, you can wear it a little bit sheared out or you can wear it in full color. I have applied more than one layer on my lips right now which is why it looks a little bit darker but you can definitely sheer it out and wear it like that. So it is a very wearable lipstick I feel like for the shade that it has and also it is very very comfortable. It is probably yeah, it's probably one of the most comfortable lipsticks of the whole range that I have to show you here. Obviously, it's Chanel, so it, it is also one of the most expensive. So because it's a more sheer, creamy formula, it's so, so wearable, it's so comfortable on the lips, and I think it looks great. So next up is a truly vampy lipstick. This is Smoked Purple by MAC, and Smoked Purple is also a matte formulation from MAC, but I feel like it is a very drying matte. There are some MAC lipsticks from MAC that are a bit more comfortable to wear. This is not very comfortable, it drags a little bit when you're applying it, so I wouldn't say this is the most amazing formulation ever, but I think that this color, I enjoy it being really, really matte, which is what it is, and for that reason, it isn't as comfortable on the lips. But it also will last you a lot longer on the lips because it is not creamy at all. Next, I have a NYX one to show you, and this is actually called NYX Simply Vamp, and the shade is aphrodisiac and it is a very nice brown shade that has a hint of burgundy in it it is a dark shade but it is a dark shade that i feel like is not the most vampy at all it is a dark shade that can still look pretty sophisticated the formulation on these is great they are very creamy very comfortable on the lips because it is like a pencil shape it is very easy to apply and to reapply throughout the day and I definitely think this is one of the best options especially if you're on a budget because NYX is a more um, cheap brand but the quality is definitely there. This lipstick is amazing. I have another one from NYX to show you. This one is a high voltage lipstick and it is in the shade number 12 Dirty Talk and this is a true dark brown. It's the one that I'm wearing right now on my lips. And it also is a very creamy formula. It's a bit more pigmented than the one that I showed you previously. I think that as soon as you apply one layer of this one, you have full color, um, really, really, really high coverage. That's why it's called high voltage. Then this one, this one you have to apply a few more layers, which means if you want, you can also apply it a little bit more sheared out. But this one, you'll always have full impact, full color. And I love the shade. It is so pretty. It is a really dark brown. It's kind of a warm brown. 
but it's really dark and I really like it. It's one of my favorite vampy shades to wear this fall. I would say color-wise it is a great dupe for MAC's Antique Velvet, except that MAC Antique Velvet is a matte formula and this one is a very creamy formula, but the color is pretty much dead on. So speaking about really creamy and pigmented lipsticks, I have one of the MAC Lip Density lipsticks here. This is in the shade Double Fudge and it is very similar to the NYX that I just showed you, except that I think this one is even darker and whereas the NYX one was a bit of a warmer brown, this one has a hint of red in it, so it's a little bit of a cooler brown, but it's still very dark, it's still very intense, but it's very very creamy, so it is going to be very comfortable to wear and also these Lip Density lipsticks kind of a stain as they fade so they fade well and you'll still have a bit of the shade on your lips as they are fading. I really like this line of lipsticks and I think that this color is one of the most perfect vampy shades for this fall and winter. So this one I think is even darker than the ones that I've shown you so far and it is from Kiko. It is one of their Gossamer Emotion lipsticks and it is in the shade 129 black grapes and I love the packaging as well I think Kiko really improved their packaging and it is a very dark shade as you can see and it is a bit more of a purpley kind of shade still has a hint of red but it is definitely more purpley it's definitely I think the name is perfect for this lipstick black grapes it's just like a black grape the formula on this is great as well, it is very creamy, it is very pigmented, it doesn't feel drying at all and I really like the effect that it gives. The next one is a liquid lipstick and it is from Sephora and the lip stains from Sephora are one of my favorite type of lipsticks, I have talked about this a million times and this is I think probably the most vampy shade that they have in this range of lipsticks. It is number 15 and it is called Polished Purple, it is such a pretty shade. It is, as you can see, a purple shade, but it is a little bit metallic. So you have two trends in one. You have vampy lips and metallic lips, uh, but it's not too metallic. I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of the metallic trend, but this one I really like because it is not too in your face. Well, it is in your face because it's dark, but it's not too in your face metallic. It's what I mean. It is purple, but it has kind of a fuchsia sheen running through it. I really like this lipstick. I really hope you can see that it is metallic and you can see the sheen that it has because I think that's what makes this lipstick really special and I think that the lip stains from Sephora are overall one of the best liquid lipstick that there is in the market and it's not that expensive. I really like the Sephora brand. I think they have really great products. Also a liquid lipstick is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lipstick in Potion. This is a very dark purple shade, really, really dark. I think it's one of the darkest ones that I have shown you. And because it dries really matte, it is going to be very intense. The Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks are some of the best as well. I do prefer the Sephora ones still, but they have a much more limited range of colors. And the Anastasia Beverly Hills have a ton of colors that you can choose from. This is a very dark and intense shade and I think it looks perfect for the vampy lip kind of look. It's probably not going to be your everyday type of shade unless you really like wearing vampy lips all the time, uh, but it's probably not your everyday natural kind of shade, but it is so stunning. I really, really enjoy this shade. Because it's a liquid lipstick, it dries completely matte and it is so, so matte that it doesn't feel hydrating at all. But this is not one of the liquid lipsticks that I feel like dry my lips out. I think there are a lot of liquid lipsticks in the market that do that. The reason why I like this one so much and Sephora lip stains is because they I don't feel like this dry out my lips, especially the Sephora lip stains are amazing, very comfortable. These are very comfortable as well, but they are comfortable. You know that they stay and they will last you all day unless you're eating very greasy things, then it may start uh, fading on the inside of your lips and you have to be careful about that and just reapply a little bit. One of the reasons why I like this and the Sephora one is that if you need to reapply, you can apply a layer on top of the layer that you already got without it getting all crumbly because sometimes when you have liquid lipstick on and you apply another layer after the first layer was dry, it's going to get crumbly and it's going to get flaky and start... it, it doesn't... It doesn't look pretty. This doesn't do that. I really like it. So the very last shade is probably the one that I think is the most fun, the most trendy and 
possibly the least wearable out of all the lipsticks that I have shown you. I am talking about Max Matte Royale. This is a purpley blue shade and blue lipsticks have been coming out everywhere. Every brand has a blue lipstick right now, but this is one within the range of blues. This is one that I think it's still a little bit wearable because it has a bit of purple. I think you have to be bold to wear this. I think you have to have the right style, but if you can pull it off, it looks amazing. I know it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really like it. And I also think it is the perfect shade to wrap up my favorite 10 vampy lipsticks for fall and winter. So I hope you guys enjoyed my picks and suggestions. I know that not all of these shades are going to be for everyone. I know that these are not your everyday going to the office type of shade, but I'm very happy that this is one of the trends this fall because I really enjoy the look. I think wearing such a bold shade also makes you look bold. It kind of empowers you. So I really like this trend. And of course, if you don't want to wear a blue shade, you don't have to. You can wear a more uh, purpley shade or you can wear a more brownish shade and still have that vampy look going on and still looking bold and still looking strong and I think that's what this trend is all about. Like I said in the beginning this is just the first of a series of lipstick videos. I am also going to be sharing with you my top 10 red lipsticks for fall and also my top nudish brownish lipsticks for fall as well thank you guys so much for watching i hope you subscribe to my channel that would make me so happy i also hope that you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you have any video suggestions leave them in the comments below and of course follow me on my social media uh, i have a facebook account instagram account and i have a blog where i talk about most of the products that i also talk about on my videos and about a bunch of other stuff so head on there if you'd like to i will leave all the links on the description box and i will see you right here on my next video bye